Today, I'm gonna to show you how to create a professional HTML email signature that is compatible with an Outlook, Apple Mail, Gmail, and many other email clients. And the best part is, it's completely free. Hey everyone, I'm Gordon, co-founder of Gimeo, the email signature generator that's helping professionals stand out with every send. Over the last 15 years, I've created and tested thousands of email signatures across many different email clients and trust me, I've seen it all. Maybe you've tried making an email signature in Microsoft Word, tinkering directly in your email client, or even coding it yourself. But then you run into issues like tables that just won't cooperate, blurry or missing images, and broken layouts. Sound familiar? That's why I'm here. With my experience, I wanna help you navigate these challenges and show you how to create a high quality, professional HTML email signature without the headaches of coding it yourself. First, here are some important tips to remember when creating your email signature. Number one, don't use an image as your whole email signature. Some tutorials will show you how to create an email signature, but in actual fact, all they're doing is creating an image that looks like an email signature. Now this is problematic because most email clients block image downloads by default for security reasons. That means your recipient won't see any of your contact information if the image is not downloaded. You also can't add links to anything like social icons or text, rendering the entire signature completely useless. So always use actual text for your contact information and not just an image of the text. Two, don't use Microsoft Word to create your email signature. The signature will look like a tangled mess in some email clients due to incompatibility. Email signatures contain HTML code, just like websites, and you wouldn't use Word to create a website, so why use it to create a HTML email signature? What's more, email signatures contain specialized HTML code to increase their compatibility across email clients, and you won't get that specialized code by using Word to create your email signature. Number three, don't create your signature inside your email client signature editor. For similar reasons as using Word, but also the developers of email clients generally aren't interested in ensuring that their HTML code is compatible with other email clients. As long as it works on theirs, it's all good, right? But it's not quite that simple in the real world because it's impossible to know what email client your recipients are using and how the signature will look on their end. Since email clients may use different rendering engines, this can create inconsistent looking email signatures. For example, your signature might look perfect in Outlook, but completely broken in Apple Mail or Gmail. Anyway, enough of the tips. In this tutorial, I'll show you two different ways to create a professional email signature for free. The first and by far the easiest way is by using a popular and free email signature generator, which we have developed after many years of testing email signatures across lots of different email platforms. There are a ton of free templates to get you started, and you don't need an account to create a signature. The second way is a bit harder, but if you like getting your hands a little dirty in HTML code, this could be the way for you. All right, let's get started. Firstly, click the link in the description to visit our email signature generator. Then click on new signature to get started. Take a look through all the different templates and pick one that you like. They're all free to use. Don't worry if you can't find the exact color or layout that you want because I'll show you how to change that stuff later. Click on a template and then click apply. You can just click on any of the fields in the preview to edit them. First, we'll click on the name and change it on the left hand side and then click done. I'll also change the position, phone number, email address and website quickly. You can also change the tag from phone to something else like P or you can just hide it but for now, we'll just use the standard tag. I'll quickly just remove a social icon and change another one. You can also upload your own icon if you like. I'll also add some hyperlinks to all the social icons. You can add a hyperlink to any field very easily just by clicking on it and filling it out on the left-hand side. Next, 
I'll remove the example image and change it to my photo. You can use a logo or whatever image you like here. You can also crop the image if you like. I'll just scale the image down a little bit so it's not so big. You can get rid of the get your own signature message at the bottom by paying for an email signature, leaving a review or following us on socials. You can also change the sign off if you like, but for this example, I won't change it. Gmail has a 10,000 character limit for email signatures. You can check how many characters your signature is using by clicking the check signature size button. I'll get into changing the colors and style of the signature in a little bit. But for now, we'll go ahead and install the signature by clicking the install your signature button and clicking the green button to copy it. Make sure you're using Google Chrome to copy the signature as some browsers don't copy HTML tables correctly and it could cause the email signature to look broken. You can find the installation instructions by searching for your email client below. For this example, we'll install the signature in Gmail. Click on the settings cog at the top and then see all settings. Scroll down to the signature section and click the create new button and give the signature a name. Paste the signature into the empty text box by pressing Ctrl V or Command V on a Mac. Select what signature you want to use for new emails and replies and forwards. Then scroll to the bottom and click the Save Changes button. Now, when you click Compose, you should see your new email signature. As you can see, in less than a few minutes, we've created and installed a really great looking email signature, which is compatible with many email clients. And best of all, it's completely free. But it doesn't have to end there. If you want to change the style of your signature, like the colors, fonts, social icon styles, or you want to change the layout completely by moving fields around, you can either purchase a single email signature or sign up to a subscription. But if that's not for you, I did promise that I would show you another way to create a free email signature. So you're going to want to stick around for that. But first, I'll quickly run you through some of the awesome features you'll get when you either purchase a signature or sign up to a plan. You will be able to change the text, border and social icon fields to any color to match your branding. Pick from over 1000 different fonts for your text fields. Adjust spacing and width of borders. Craft the perfect social icons by selecting the exact style you want. Add new fields to your signature, which you can drag and drop to move them around. Send signatures to your team together with installation instructions so they can easily install it themselves. And for web developers, we have white labeling, which allows you to send email signatures to your customers using your own brand colors and logo. You will also be able to create groups for email signatures so you could have a group for each department in your organization or if you're a web developer for each customer. If you have a team and there is some common information between all the email signatures like a company website, office address or phone number, you can simply apply those fields to all signatures in the group. This makes it so creating any new signatures is much quicker and the information is consistent between them. Once you're done creating your perfect layout, you can save it. This allows you to apply the same layout to another group. Now, let's move on to the second way of creating an email signature, where you will be able to customize your signature as much as your heart desires, but there will be some editing of HTML involved. Firstly, we want to download a template to use as a base. I'll put a link in the description where you can download the free email signature templates. Have a look through the templates in the list and click on the download template button. This will download a zip file containing all the files you need. Once the download is done, you can extract the zip file and you will find the template.html file inside it. Open the HTML file with your web browser to see how the signature looks and so you can also see any modifications as you make them. You will also want to open the HTML file using a good text editor such as Sublime Text. You may need to download it if you don't already have it. I'll add a link in the description. All of our templates come pre-minified, which makes the size of the email signature a lot smaller. However, it also makes editing the HTML a bit harder. So before editing the HTML file, we will first beautify the HTML code using a tool like Code Beautify. I'll leave a link in the description. All we need to do is copy the HTML code over to the tool, click Beautify HTML, and then copy all the beautified HTML from the output back into our file and overwrite the old code in there. Now, modifying HTML can be tricky, so I won't go into all the details in this video. Instead, 
I'll put a link in the description to another one of our videos which explains how to edit the HTML template files in a lot more detail. I'll also put a link to our blog post. But for now, I'll give you some quick pointers to get you started. The easiest way to modify the basic information in the template is to simply search for things inside your text editor by using Control F or Command F if you're on a Mac. So for example, if you want to change a name, you simply search for the name in the HTML file and change it to your name. Same goes for job position or any other text field. I'll quickly change mine over now. I'll also make it so that the website is hyperlinked. To do that, I'll add an A element that wraps on the outside of the span element. In the href attribute, you put in the link it will go to when the website is clicked. Make sure you put an end to the A element. Whenever you make a change in the HTML file, it's good to save it and refresh Chrome to see the latest changes. So press Ctrl S in the text editor to save your changes, then go over to Chrome and press Ctrl R to refresh, and you should be able to see your latest changes. To change the color of some text or a border, we will need to find and change the color style attribute to a hex value. If you Google color picker, you should be able to pick your color, copy the corresponding hex value, and update the color attribute with that color. As you can see, I've changed my name to a darker blue. For now, I'll change it back to how it was by undoing it. To change the images, you will first need to host your images somewhere on the internet like Google Drive or another storage provider and get a publicly accessible link for that image. I've already got a link for my image, which I prepared earlier. Then it's as simple as searching for IMG to find the right image element and then changing the source attribute inside that IMG element to have the new link you have for your image. The same applies for finding and changing social icons since they are images too. I'm going to add a hyperlink to my Facebook icon, so I'll search for IMG. To add a link, you can wrap A elements around image or span elements, which is how images and text fields become clickable links. Then in the A element, just put the link inside the href attribute and you're done. Again, don't forget to put an end to the A element, which is symbolized with a slash in front of the A. I'll refresh the page and you can see the link working. Remember, if you make a mistake editing the HTML file, you can always press Ctrl Z or Command Z on Mac to undo the changes so you can try again. Once you're done, to install your signature, you can just press Ctrl A to select the entire signature in the Chrome window and then press Ctrl C to copy it. From there, you can paste it into Gmail or Outlook or Apple Mail or whichever email client you like. That's all there's time for today. But like I mentioned earlier, if you want the full rundown on how to edit our HTML templates, be sure to check out the link in the description. Thanks for watching our tutorial on how to create an email signature. If you liked the video, give us a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and leave a comment. See you next time.